Today I'm going to be making some bread, uh, French bread specifically, with the Breville Custom Loaf Bread Maker. But first, we got to find out exactly what kind of ingredients that we need. And there's actually a very good uh, basic, it's not my first time making it, basic French bread setting for uh, the menu. And I'm going to make a two and a half loaf. And there's only a couple of the ingredients uh, that we need in here. So I'm going to need 420 milliliters of water one tablespoon of oil, two teaspoons of salt, three teaspoons of sugar, five cups of bread flour, one teaspoon of bread improver, which I basically just substitute lemon juice, and uh, one and three quarter teaspoons of tendaco yeast. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna put it in in terms of the order that the recipe calls for that is most conducive to uh, to being able to schedule this for later. All right, again, since I'm making the bread right now, it doesn't really matter. So the first is the water and the oil, which I'm gonna go ahead and put in uh, here. So water and oil, pour that right in there. That's all of it. Again, that's 420 milliliters of it. Um, looks like I have the salt and the sugar and all that stuff all down at the bottom, which means that I should have mixed it. So note to self, mix it better. I'm going to have to excuse me a little bit. I'm going to pour this right back out and uh, remix that. Normally this wouldn't be an issue except that I'm recording a video as I'm doing this at the same time and that gives it uh, too much time to go ahead and, you know, separate too much. So mix it up. Okay, pour it back in. That should get just about everything. And you know what, normally I measure it and then I pour it directly into the pan so I never run into this issue. But note that that can be an issue if you're following this along. And I should probably mix this a little bit better. Water and oil don't mix very well, by the way, but now I have uh, you know all the other stuff also mixed in there too. Okay. Okay, so I got the water oil mixture along with the salt and the sugar. Next comes the bread flour. So this, this one has the four cups. I need five cups total for my two and a half loaf of bread. I'm just gonna carefully pour this in here. And what I'm looking to do is to make sure that all the wet areas are fully covered so that even when I pour in the yeast and all that other stuff in here, uh, it's not gonna interact with the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so then left, all that's left is the yeast and the other one cup of flour. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there right now. So you see how that's all layered up on top. None of that is touching the wet parts that matter, which is basically the yeast. You gotta separate the yeast. Okay, so if you put the yeast in last, uh, that, that should also be fine. Then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and go ahead and put it inside the bread maker and then set the program. Putting it right inside, making sure that it is locked in place or, or the direct correct way. Once you put it in the correct way, it actually just goes on in place. Close the lid. You set it to basic bread. Uh, set the crust to whatever level you want. In this case, I'm going to do a medium. And then the size of the loaf, I'm going to do two and a half. And it looks like it's going to take three hours and 20 minutes. And then all I do is click on start and let it do its thing. It's going to tar start spinning everything somewhat violently. Uh, at least this will... This could potentially shock you in terms of how loud that this thing is. There's actually light so you can see what's going on in there. It's gonna rotate and do all this stuff and let it rise. And, and basically it's gonna beep a couple of times throughout the cycle to uh, let you know. And that could be all be configurable to let you know when you can add in toppings. Uh, you can set up the beeps at different, uh, different levels um, and different areas or different cycles of what it's doing so that it can remind you in case you wanna do anything different, like take the, take the dough out or add some toppings in this nice little topping uh, section here, topping container. Uh, topping insert. So at the right time, this will automatically put in any toppings you want. Since we're doing French bread, we're not touching any of that. And yeah, it's just going to be doing this for a couple hours. And it'll, it'll, it'll actually let it rise for a while too. Um, that's all configurable or programmable, but in my case, I don't know anything about this. This already has everything set for me. I'm pretty good to go. Look 
this. It is near the end of the rising cycle, as you can see. It's 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 pretty much as high as it's going to get. Uh, there, I think there's about a 45 minute uh, bake time after this, and uh, I got a, I got about an hour left, so we are about two plus hours in, uh, two point two five two and a quarter hours in, and this is this is what we're getting in right now. So this will start baking shortly in about 15 minutes or so. It might make another beat before that happens, uh, and then we'll take a look at the results. Okay, the bread is done. It smells really, really good. Um, it's actually been sitting in here for a little while now, um, just on the warming function. It has a has a built-in regular warming function that uh, that will automatically go into until you take it out. All right, so I'm going to take this bread out. Uh, this is still really hot, so I'm going to carefully try to flip this guy over. Just. Like so hot, hot, hot. Maybe I should let it cool down, but it is definitely hot. I should go just shake it right out. There we go. Wow. This is a big, giant, tall loaf of bread. Like, easily the size of a human head. Okay, so I'm gonna let it cool for a bit and uh, we'll just go ahead and cut it right open. Listen to the sound of the loaf of the bread. It's a good, good sounding bread. Hollow. Nice. Good bake job. Oh, crispy flakiness. Ah. Oh. Wow, look at that bread. Look at the texture and consistency of that bread. 